everybody, welcome to episode 40 of Rack and Rock Chronicles on our standard YouTube channel. And for the last two videos, we've been covering On The Spot Baits, which is one of our new partners. And I was kind of just showing you some basic product. Um, but Rick, who is quote unquote our special guest for today, uh, Rick is one of the team members from uh, Rack and Rock Chronicles TV show. And he spent last week up in the Thousand Islands and had the ability to fish the on the spot baits uh, with our good buddy Todd from Newton Ransom Outdoors. So he's going to kind of give you a walkthrough uh, of some of the baits that uh, Morgan and Sean had made for him specifically for the trip up there. You'll get to see more of that action in episode 8 of the actual TV show on Pride Outdoor Network. So check out this 7-8 uh, minute video, uh, Rick discussing the baits on what he used, what they were catching, and uh, he'll give you a rundown of the baits that he got to take up there with him. So we appreciate it. At the end of the video, don't forget to click the subscribe button at the bottom. That way you'll get notified every time we post a new video. And also check out our playlist, RRC TV. So if you don't see the TV show on Pride Outdoor Network, you can see it on our YouTube channel. And stay tuned to our Facebook page this evening. We're going to post a giveaway with On The Spot Baits uh, for a Ned Rig kit. So check that out tonight. We'll post that up there and uh, we'll run it for a week. And we'll pick a winner uh, probably next Friday at 7 o'clock. We'll talk to you in a bit. How's it going, everyone? Uh, Todd and I are officially back from the St. Lawrence River. We had a great time. We had great weather. We were lucky every single day. It was uh, sunny and very little wind, so uh, the conditions were, were perfect. Um, we weren't quite sure if it was spawn, uh, post spawn because we were not really finding the fish on the beds. We had uh, some friends and relatives that were up there that were finding them on the beds and uh, a lot of them were were catching them uh, by using a system called a flogger which we did not have nor have we ever used that system. So uh, we're gonna have to look into that a little bit and see if it's something we're interested in or, or not. Um, but we had a great weekend. The, the uh, Pinehurst Cottages and Cabins was uh, perfect. They had a great lunch. We met a few people there. So overall, um, we had a fantastic time. Uh, some of the lures that uh, I got to use, <clears throat> which I haven't used before, this is my first time, they, uh, they did phenomenal. On the spot baits, uh, created a uh, package for us just for the Thousand Islands. They gave us colors, they gave us uh, jig heads, they set us up so um, we could do extremely well and I was very happy with their baits. Uh, I love the colors that uh, was picked out for us. Uh, the jig heads were perfect. Um, one thing about jig heads that I you know c complain about all the time is a lot of times the hole it still got paint in it, and it, what a pain in the butt to, to get that, you know, opened up so that you can actually use the jig. Every jig that we used, and we used every single one of them up because uh, we certainly lost, you know, a few on fish and a few on rocks. Um, so that was nice. I, I, I appreciated that. A jig head that I've never used before is this spinner head jig, and that really, you know, woke the fish up and they they definitely hit it and enjoyed it um, so going through the water uh, this looked phenomenal um, I, I seem to use this uh, bait the most because up there we ran into a problem with uh, uh, I don't know if it's called grass or sea or muck or whatever it was on the rocks but every single cast, you know, if you were using a drop shot or if you were using a net rig, um, every single cast it came back with uh, this stuff on the bottom of the lake. So it was, if, if the fish didn't hit it on the drop or going down, um, 
you know, it was tough to, to, to keep that bait clean. But with the spinner bait, or not spinner bait, the uh, uh, swim bait, it was nice because it kept it up above the ground and the cover. Um, and that's what was nice. You could continually fish over and over and not have to clean your lure off every single time. So, you, you know, it cut down on wasted time and cut cleaning it off. So, I'll give you an example of that. You can see it. It worked real nice. Great action on the tail. You know, the, the, the baits held up phenomenal. We caught, you know, several fish on one bait, so that was nice. And, uh, you know, to get eight in a package and the price, you know, we really appreciated them taking care of us and uh, letting us try them out uh, up there because they really helped put fish in the boat while we were there. So, overall, um, we, we truly appreciate uh, on-the-spot baits. Um, well, hopefully we get to use them again here real soon. I think Greg wants to go fishing shortly, and um, I highly recommend using them, and highly recommend going to the St. Lawrence because we, we used a full tank of gas, I think it's a 20 gallon uh, tank um, and if you looked at my boat tracker on uh, my hummingbird, I mean we were all up and down that river and all over the place. I mean we covered a ton of uh, shoreline without a doubt. We saw a lot of beautiful spots and areas there. We caught, uh, we caught largemouth, we caught smallmouth, we caught pike. and um, that lure right there, the color is um, green pumpkin with chartreuse. You know, that worked phenomenal. Uh, the gold flash was a favorite of mine. That worked tremendous. Uh, the goby, of course, is, is you know, there's a, a lot of gobies up in that St. Lawrence River, and that worked, you know, very, very well up there. Uh, just great action. And, and what's nice is the baits held up fish after fish. So we really appreciate them thinking of us. Um, we also did some drop shot up there and we used the uh, spade tail perch and this had garlic on which they really liked. Uh, and we also drop shot it with um, 3.75 shape shad gold flash. Um, that worked tremendous for the drop shot. Uh, a lot of drop shot going on up there. Um, a thousand miles, which was nice. We did use some of the Ned rigs, which is fantastic for um, smallmouths, largemouth also, but really we were we were trying to catch the smallmouth, and uh, they always do well. It's just we ran into trouble with running into the weed, the uh, green muck or whatever you you call it that was all over the rocks and all over the the bottom of the the river. So. But great weekend. Unfortunately, it was only, I think, three days we got to fish, and we needed a couple more to really cover that area up there. I mean, it was gorgeous. It only rained, uh, you know, at nighttime. So in the morning, I mean, um, once all the boats were gone from the weekend, and we had Monday, Tuesday, uh, those were the days that were real nice, especially in the morning, because uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the people went home and we had the river to ourselves a lot in the morning, so before everyone woke up. So, um, so that that was our trip. Uh, no complaints, no issues. Uh, just it was nice to finally get out in the water and have some good weather. The boat ran beautifully, um, which is always nice. You always worry when you get up there that you're going to have trouble. But the hummingbird, the boat, the motor. Uh, even the trolling motor, we didn't have any trouble with the batteries, so that was nice. So, hope you enjoy some of the video that we caught on, on film, uh, some of the fish. We didn't film all the fish, but uh, we tried to film as many as we could. Uh, it was a great trip.
look forward to getting back up there. So Rack and Rock Chronicles, check us out on Pride Outdoor Network. Recover signing off from uh, St. Lawrence River.